Straight up, <laughs> no. What's up y'all, it's Andrea and I am back again with another video. Let me tell y'all something. So, um, I am attempting to record back on my camera again. Um, as y'all know, I got this camera a long, long time ago and I used it for like a couple videos and then I stopped using it. I went back to my phone, but I'm gonna try to use the camera again um, and work on editing better and giving you guys a better quality. But I just wanted to throw a little disclaimer out there without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so I asked you guys like a couple days back, like what are some videos that you guys wanted to see? And this is a video request that I thought actually was a super, super good idea because it's like, I wanna be honest and truthful with you guys and let you guys know stuff up front and so i feel like this specific topic is super important especially if you're about to graduate um nursing school and you're about to enter your career field child let me tell you i got stuff to tell y'all so number one question here is does nursing school really prepare you to be a nurse i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys <laughs> um so let me say this, I feel like nursing school prepares you for like the theoretical standpoint, like perhaps for you to understand the why behind things, like why are you doing this, like understanding the disease process. But I personally, again, this is my own opinion, like you could ask another nurse and they may tell you something different. But for me personally, I do not feel like it prepared me like I don't even know how to explain it, especially because I'm in a specialty. Like, we, when I was in my peds rotation, honestly, I felt like we didn't really talk too much about newborns and like the NICU aspect. We didn't really touch on it at all, to be honest. Like, I feel like we honestly talked about more um, actual pediatrics than like NICU, if that makes sense. So, I especially, especially believe, sorry if I hear those sirens. Let that pass. So, what I'm trying to say is, like, I I don't feel like if you're really going into a specialty like L and D, for sure, you're not gonna. Mm -mm. No, again, you may learn a theoretical aspect. NICU, same thing. Um, pediatrics, I guess. Like, I don't I don't even know. I think with anything and even med search too, you're gonna learn the why behind it. You may know like the disease process, so like that can help you make critical decisions like when it comes or critical critically thoughtful that's a word critically thoughtful questions or it'll make help you make those decisions because you know the why and you know what's going on within the body but it doesn't prepare you to be an actual nurse I don't feel like there are certain things that you're not going to experience or you're not going to be exposed to until you're in the actual moment and again, to be real with you guys, you're not gonna know how to deal with that patient who's spitting on you and like wants to argue with you and call you out your name. They're not gonna, it doesn't teach you how to deal with a doctor who's rude to you, an NP who's rude to you, and how to respond in those situations in a professional manner. It doesn't teach you how to deal with family members who are pissed off at you for whatever reason. Like it doesn't, it doesn't teach you that aspect. That comes with it though. That comes with you being an actual nurse, you know? Y'all probably hear all these sirens and they're like, oh, what the heck? But nonetheless, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't prepare you. And don't let that like worry you or concern you or like, I don't even know, have you overthinking like, what the heck am I going to do when I'm actually a nurse if nursing school is really not going to prepare me? There are just certain things you're not going to know and you're not going to learn until you're in the moment. Even when it comes like to the disease process and how like things are treated with that specific disease process, each patient case is totally different and unique and like what may work for one patient is not going to work for the next patient. How you talk to one patient is not going to fly with the other patient like and you learn how to and I'm still learning. You learn how to navigate your way through these specific situations like how you speak to these if you're more comfortable or really you should be comfortable with all your patients but if you feel like more tension or more uptight that can maybe like affect the way that you interact with these patients but again it's not going to be like that for every single patient and on the flip side you may have this wonderful amazing patient their family is super sweet like everything is going smoothly your interaction is wonderful flawless and how you're acting with that patient is not gonna work with that. It's not gonna fly with that patient that is treating you like absolutely crap, like the freaking scum on the bottom of their shoe. Like again, 
each situation in each case is different and you're not going to know how to really maneuver your way and finesse your way through the situation until you're actually in it and that's just the honest truth. I guess another thing I can say like nursing school kind of prepared me for well I don't know because again being in the NICU we did not touch honestly I feel like we didn't touch too much on NICU and like their medications vaccinations I guess but we only give the hep B so I mean that's kind of self-explanatory but I feel like maybe possibly like if you're on a med search for um ER for sure. I I feel like I don't even know how nursing school would have prepared me for that. But like maybe like your pharmacology classes will really help you understand medications more and like why are you giving these medications? What what are the contraindications? What are the side effects to be looking out for? So again, I feel like the theoretical aspect, the standpoint. But you're not gonna know who and how you truly act as a nurse and how you provide your true care until you are a nurse. And that's that's just the reality of it. I feel like this video is um, probably going to be pretty short, but this is something that I honestly do get asked a lot and to address it to you all at one time kind of makes more sense than having to repeat myself over and over if that makes sense. So again, don't be like, enjoy, let me say this, enjoy the moment that you're in. If you're in nursing school, enjoy it, embrace it, make sure you're retaining as much theoretical standpoint from it that you can so when you actually become a nurse you don't have to worry about that part like you know the disease processes you know what's going on with inside the body so now it's time to you know focus on that providing care standpoint like how are you going to provide care how are you going to work, work your way through these situations that are difficult that again you didn't experience when you were a nursing student or you didn't have to even you didn't realize it was a thing when you were a nursing student like um and it's something that I feel like comes with time. It's something that I'm still learning. I know, like, I have friends who are nurses who are, you know, older than me. They've been nurses longer than me, of course, and they're still learning. So when they say that nursing is something that you're constantly going to be learning, not just educational-wise, but just, like, providing care-wise, that is the God honest truth. <laughs> like, you're always going to be learning. Um, you may have moments where you feel like everything is freaking difficult and you don't know why you chose this career because everything's so hard. But in the end, it's really going to pay off and your good days definitely outweigh your bad. Like for every good day I have, I'm just so thankful and I feel so blessed. But then for me to say that I don't have bad days and then I'm like, what the heck? What? Like questioning my own self and my own knowledge. Um, like I'm saying, like the good ways put those like in the past. Like it, it's it's a whole learning experience and it's something that, again, you don't even know like how to approach it sometimes because you are not you haven't been exposed to the nursing school but it comes with time it comes with experience and just really learning who you are like this whole process is learning who you are and how you interact in certain situations hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you're a nurse and you want to like add something to it definitely feel free be my guest um i feel like i kind of i'd like tackle this question as best as i could to summarize it all again you know it gets you ready from the theoretical standpoint like why are you doing this understanding the disease process and maybe how to go about things in a certain way and when certain things happen with someone who's having the specific sickness or illness but from the actual providing care standpoint and like knowing what to do in certain situations and how to critically honestly think and make decisions under pressure um while dealing with outside issues maybe be it a doctor an np another nurse yourself you know doubting yourself those things you're not gonna know until you're in the situation and that's okay like take every experience as a learning experience so the next time you're exposed to something of that nature you know how to handle it but guys you will see my little fuzzy sweater it's a one it's from forever 21 but anyways um hopefully you guys found this video helpful i definitely i'm so excited because again like i said i'm using this camera again i'm trying to edit or i'm trying to update my editing software i'm just trying to add more quality better quality more content better co content to my page so hopefully you guys are excited for this journey and to go along on the ride um definitely i'm going to address more of the requests and requests and ideas that you guys had for videos coming up so stay tuned for that follow me on instagram if you are not already and i will see you guys in the next video